Hey everyone, it's Rochelle with Losing It on Keto, and in this video, what I have for you is my weekly progress report. Uh, so it's Monday, and it's April 24th, and I've been doing this reboot, this PSMF reboot, for 21 weeks now. Uh, so today starts week 22, so let's see how I did this past week. So I lost 3.9 pounds last week. Um, so that puts me at a total loss to date of 63.3 pounds over, over 21 weeks. And, um, I have lost 6.7 pounds in the last two weeks. So I'm just, I'm just thrilled with this, of course, as anyone would be. Um, but I, I'm starting to look at the data a little bit. Uh, I'm looking at the data in additional ways and I wanted to share that with you. So I'm looking at some monthly averages. So this first one I, I've shared with you before, which is just what's the, what's the monthly loss? So for the fifth month, um, I lost 3.1 pounds that month. And that brought me down to a monthly average over those five months of 11.9. Now, just in one week of month six, which is where I'm at, today starts uh, week two of month six. Uh, so far in that one week, I've lost 3.9 pounds, as I've said. So um, I lost more in one week this past week, the first week of month six, than I did in all of month five by almost a pound. So that's that's pretty interesting to me. And then um, I started this countdown tracker uh, because I have my goal weight in mind. And so I am 21.7 pounds away from, from my goal. So I want to start looking at it this way because 21, 22 pounds seems so much more attainable than to talk about 85 pounds lost in total and where I am and, and that, um, on that um, spectrum and that range. Uh, and then the other thing that I'm tracking, which is even that much more tangible, is how much more do I have to my MAGL? And so for my May goal, I'm 6.8 pounds away. So I'm 6.8 pounds away from what I had set out to achieve by May 31st. So pretty, pretty realistic. So fingers crossed, I'm hoping to meet that by my birthday of May 17th. Um, but I've, I've seen a pattern with myself, which is, you know, I'll have big losses followed by some smaller losses, followed by some bigger losses. So there's definitely been peaks and valleys in the journey that I can't explain through uh, macronutrients or anything. So, um, you know, it, there's clearly more at play here, um, particularly, I would say, with, with hormones. So anyways, I wanted to show you the, um, the, the macros over the months that I that I did this. So these so I just pulled some of my data, which is months three and four, which were hardcore PSMF. And only March first did I stop um doing seven day a week PSMF days. So you see what the hardcore PSMF looked like. And then over the course of month five, that resulted in just the 3.1 loss. I had the, the one big week working on my, on my metabolism where I was consuming um, nearly 3,800 calories a day. And I was happy to even have a 3.1 pound loss for that month when my monthly average of the calories was near 1,700. Uh, and then for this one week, so this is one week of month six, you can see how that shaped up in comparison um, to, to previous. So some more data. This here, 
um, reflects what did the, the past week look like. So, um, you know, I had some higher, uh, you know, this was definitely a higher calorie, higher fat day. And these three days on my old PSMF ways would be consistent with that. On my precision, I guess this, these would be considered more, more clean keto type days because I had some more fat consumption. But overall, I, I would consider these PSMF days. So I guess you could say, realistically, I only had one, one clean keto day last week. Um, and so that equated to, you can see how this looks week over week. So this is that high calorie week that I had commented about where I was working on my metabolism because I had my RMR tested on March 27th. So I was deliberately provocative um, in regards to the metabolism, trying to boost it with a huge calorie consumption that week. And then the subsequent week being a stricter PSMF. And then the subsequent week being a higher calorie uh, week. And remember, I lost, um, what was it, 2.9 pounds here. And then, and then this past week, you can see what, what that looked like in total based on the day by day up above. So then we have the, the, week, the weekly review for the meal plans. So one thing I wanted to highlight is I did make it through um, the week without any sweeteners. So how much did that affect my result of getting nearly a four pound loss? I, I don't know. And that's part of the hard part about, about this is you can't isolate the variables. But it's it's data, it's interesting nonetheless. But here are here are my meal plans. Um, you can see this here. I had mentioned before that I was gonna relax a little bit on the precision PSMF protocol that didn't allow for any any um, uh, protein powder, and I did that. So I incorporated some of the uh, chicken soup. Um, using the keto chow chicken soup base, which I enjoy immensely. And so I got this loss with, with consuming some of that. I had that, uh, I guess, four times last week. Um, and outside of that, I did have, and there's an upcoming video on this, I did have lasagna, PSMF lasagna here one time last week that had some uh, tomato sauce in it. So... Um, I introduced a little bit of carbs from that when almost the past two months I have been carnivore. So make of that what you will. I'm just sharing the information and, and the results. Um, so let's see here. So I had my resting metabolic rate tested again. So um, I got that tested this morning. So here's the information to share with you. Um, Here's my conclusion over this data, that today is like it was back in January. Do I think the things that I did in regards to week 18 and week 20, do I think I magically repaired my metabolism over the span of these four weeks? No, I'm in, in the person doing the test is actually um, like-minded with me, which I think March was a bad result. And I know why it was a bad result. And I experienced that with today's test, but we corrected it, which is when you're doing the RMR test, you want to be breathing out of your mouth. And, um, and I was, and I did the exact opposite in March, where in January and April, I did. And so I think we realized today the impact of just the solely nose breathing. And I think that's why. So I am firmly... Uh, convinced that this was a bad test overall. And what Dr. Goldcamp had shared with me was that doing PSMF, because your protein's bearing, you weren't going to dam damage your metabolism. The data seems to be holding, holding true. 
this is five months of data now of, of testing compared to before. Um, so what else? Uh, let's see. So like I said, I have the data down here that shows what the week by week was, what my uh, macronutrients were from my prior test to this test. Um, and then I thought it was interesting to see what does my prior month look like in comparison to the prior two months. So, you know, these two months are the two months that headed it, that I had leading into this test. And then this is the one month that I had leading into this test. Um, so given that I lost a significant amount of weight in the last two weeks with, with this here, I've said again, um, following a keto diet, uh, keto diet is far more than just a numbers game. There's a lot more going on with hormones, et cetera, because I I've done this before for you that if I were to calculate this out based on any sort of calculator, macro calculator that, that people use for weight loss, the numbers just, just don't equate. So if you took my metabolism number and multiplied that out and said, this is what I consumed, the numbers wouldn't come close to, to my actual results. It, it would have said, I don't know, I would have lost less than a pound over this time frame compared to the near eight pounds that I lost. So I'm just sharing the data with you. So uh, one key takeaway for the audience here that I'm trying to get across is if, if you have a couple weeks where you didn't lose, one, don't conclude you're in a stall. Two, be patient. Uh, because you see what's happened with me through patience, I get these big, uh, you know, the what's what's called the whoosh effect. I get these these big dramatic losses. So if you don't stick it out, you'll never put yourself in position to experience those. And then the third takeaway is just emphasizing again: this is more, much more than a numbers game. So for anybody who who uses these keto calculators and says, oh, I want my calories to be minus 500 for this. You, you'll drive yourself batty. Um, if, if you are, are minimizing your um, energy intake with limiting it with fat and net carbs and prioritizing protein and making sure you're getting enough protein um, and you figure out you know what what version of that works for you you're you're going to get results uh, so I just wanted to emphasize those points summarize those points and then what am I going to do next in regards to the RMR so I have set a June 19th appointment at that time because I'm projecting that's when I'll be at my goal weight and when I reach my goal weight, what I'm going to do is then set myself up for maintenance mode. And in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to baseline my RMR as well as my body fat, muscle, lean muscle, et cetera, via a DEXA scan at that point in time. So to gather that data, to then begin what um, is called reverse dieting. Uh, because my goal here will be to get my... Uh, metabolism up as high as possible to, um, you know, so to reverse this calorie cut that I've been doing for these months, to get that high, as high up as possible to, um, you know, set me up for long-term maintenance. And then also, you know, the DEXA scan, I, I want to understand what my body composition is right now and continue to work on that. So that's my goal in regards to the, the decks of fit testing. And then lastly, some other, other discussion topics. So I mentioned no sweeteners and I will tell you that I went through withdrawal for a couple of days and that had me a little worried because then I started to say, is this an addiction or, or maybe it's just a habit. And then I was also wondering, well, what, what effect did not having any sweeteners have on my weight loss? I don't know, and it's hard to isolate that variable. 
So I've been contemplating, you know, having the sweetener certainly makes this journey a heck of a lot easier. Um, so I was, you know, just thinking, what am I going to do this week? And I've concluded I'm going to keep the sweeteners out because I want to see if I can attain a, you know, a similar type weight loss as, as this week. And I won't be able to dr uh, directly uh, draw a causation, but maybe more of a correlation that, that says, hey, if I keep uh, sweeteners out, does that increase the chance that I'm going to have bigger losses. We'll we'll see. I won't be able to say that for a matter of fact because there's so many other variables in play like like hormones. Um, I already mentioned that I lost more in my first month of month six than I did all of month five. So the reason why I mentioned this again is did my month five um, set me up for a strong finish to goal? Well, I don't know, but maybe, but but that'll be something to, to watch over the next two months. So if I have progressive, you know, consistent weight loss each week, then, you know, I will definitely say yes. Um, and even if it's not directly related to, to month five, having the higher calories and such, if nothing else, it allowed me to continue this and, not, and um, at least mentally get, get, um, reset and not be bored with PSMF for all the, these months. Um, and so I already touched on the third point here. And then in terms of activity, I did three, uh, three times last week. I did, um, strength training. I had one uh, day of golf. I would have liked it to be more, but because of the weather. So all of that is good news. And now that leads me to bad news. On Saturday, while I was working out, I suffered a significant uh, new, that should be N-E-W. Oh, I know what I said. Uh, that should not be new. It should be a significant new, new slash old. But there's a typo there. A significant knee slash lower leg injury while working out on Saturday. So, unfortunately, I think I did the same injury I did three years ago that required a reconstruction and two surgeries. Uh, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but this is behaving the same way as then. And now for those of you that have watched my videos, you know, when I rebooted this year, well, when I started doing videos this year, I shared with you that I had to do a reboot because things got out of control um, over the course of last year partially set off by orthopedic injuries and that's been my pattern and I'm going to need to be very very careful that this doesn't derail me and that I yo-yo again. Um, so I'll know more about the injury soon. I'm expecting to know more this week um, but I'm, I'm fearing the worst given my experience and how this is this is behaving. So if, if it is what it seems to be, I'm just going to be, I'm just going to have to be that much more diligent on my program here uh, to make sure that I don't yo-yo. But I mean, uh, I could be, I could feel sorry for myself. I can be depressed, etc. But I, I won't allow that. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep pushing through and understand that you know, God has a plan. He works in mysterious ways. We may not always understand it, but it is what it is. And, and I will get through it as I always do. Um, but <laughs> it sucks nonetheless. So I don't want to end on a, on the sour note, just sharing with you my, my additional challenges. And if you have similar challenges, you know, no, know we're in this together and, and I'm going to keep going strong and maybe that gives you inspiration as well. But zooming out from that, all in all, had a great week. Going to try and replicate it this week and uh, hit over the course of the last two weeks, nearly eight pounds lost. I'm, I'm thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. 
to the point that I can start tracking um, how much left to goal and uh, how much left to my next month's goal, which is half of my um, overall. Uh, so anyways, that'll do it for this video. Uh, I hope this information helps you. I hope you're able to pick up a, t uh, you know, a nugget here or there. And, uh, and as always, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll, I'll answer them as soon as I see them. And, uh, and I hope uh, this information helps you on your journey. So until the next video, take care, everyone.